هنبقى النهارده مع كريس كورمير الليجند اللي انا بحبه جدا الراجل الاسطوري اللي انا كبرت على آه تاريخه في لعب كمال الاجسام اتكلم معاه النهارده في 2021 عن اولمبيا السنه دي هتبقى مختلفه ازاي توقعاته للاوبن كلاس او الوزن المفتوح وتعال نشوف توقعات كريس هتبقى عامله ازاي كريس هاو ار يو سير جود هاي دون ايفريثينج از فاين اي ميس يو مان ناو مان بن بن لونج تايم بن سينس وين لاست ما سو لاست تايم وي هاف بين ان ايجيبت اور هير ان اي ثينك لاست لاست اولمبيا سو يا سو اتس اولموست اولموست ان يير يا So, what do you think about this year? Uh, it's going to be, uh, I think, pretty interesting with, with uh, you know, some of the newer guys, the newer crop guys coming up. Um, everybody's been talking about Nick Walker, doing what he can do, seeing what he can do. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, they're looking to see how uh, Rami's going to st- stack up to, uh, as opposed to last year yeah. with his big win. And can he do it again? Can he? hit his mark again can yeah. he be you know that's been a, a shaky ground for him is to always continue to be spot on so i'm sure everyone's looking to see if he can get that done this year so are you going with the flow about nick walker that he can do it and because most of the social media right now after he win the arnold it's well, like going wild that he can do it and beat rami we see very like different Uh, symmetry and uh, way of uh, balance between the muscles up and down so there is some of the people saying that Nick Walker a little bit un- unsymmetry so what do you well, think about that I mean he have a distinct look um, but uh, he I don't know. He's I don't know. He has a a lot of momentum behind him from like I say from the win. Yeah. But it's just I just that's the thing the the beauty of it is seeing all these guys go together. Who's going to come out on top? Who's going to what shape is going to to uh dominate the other one? Yeah. And uh I think that's the beauty of having this the the Miss Olympia competition is you know, you got the older champions, you got uh uh Curry You have Bonac. Bonac. You have all these these guys. What do you been, think about Bonac right now? Well, I see a couple of pictures for him. He he looks great. He looks yeah. great. Yeah, and this so it's just gonna stack up. It's just gonna see how how they stack up with each other. So, yeah. I think it's some really good athletes. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not you know I'm I'm from the old school, but I'm still but I'm trying to. help the next generation come up i've been doing a lot of work my um, personally myself and i think everybody just want to see uh the better physiques up there the, yeah. the best people yeah. we can get up there yeah. so yeah. i think that's the, the the main focus right now is everyone keep getting better and keep reaching for uh higher heights of uh conditioning and uh, you know i think uh, everyone's looking forward to a, a nice battle Let me ask you about the 2020 when Rami win Mr. Olympia. How was the condition for you? How did you see it? He was good. I, I saw him even better in my in my time I saw him a little better before. Hmm. I thought he, his back has been a little better before, hmm. but he has but if you won at that at that time that just gives you so much time to improve and and still get better. So Uh, some of the shots was okay. some of the shots from the side the side of his quad was was nice looking it uh, was amazing yeah yeah so that and then uh but it could have been better from the back but then it, it, he would come out flat hmm. and then he would go <laughs> go back to the backstage uh back of the stage and when he come back out he was looking a lot better he did that twice yeah i saw him come out flat and he's like hmm, hmm. and then uh and then he come out again yeah, yeah then he improved yeah quickly yeah so yeah I don't know if that's from maybe he was in waiting to pump up more or something like that but he was definitely coming back better. Uh this is what I I will say it's it's not just because I know Rami but I think Rami every time he pose or hold the pose he get more better and better and better. His muscle is like getting awake and awake and awake and awake so. Yeah, I was I was like that when I was competing I would have so much uh uh I would get better as I start to sweat yeah. as I start to yeah. pump you know you start to hold get more blood in the muscles mm-hmm. and you start to get better so I I like the idea of it I like when the judges let the people move up 
in the standings as if they're getting better and, and, if, and fade out, mm. bringing them down in the standings. So I, I like that. In, in your time, how the stress level was dealing with you when you hit the stage, even if you was bro for so long and uh, you have been competing for so long, but you still hit the stage and you see the crowd in Mr. Olympia, always big crowd there. So it, tell me about the stress level for you at that time. Well, I had a lot of stress going into most of these shows. Uh, just, you know, just your personal life. You don't know what's going on in people's personal lives also. Mm -hmm. Some people just, is like just to just to make it to the stage. It's a it's a you know, it's they should be uh, close to number one. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for the most part, I was just uh, I was very confident because I knew I knew the, the package I was bringing in so many shows. So I was never really I was just wondering what where I'm going to place where, you know, who's who's the top guy um, in the show at the time. Um, are you going against Ronnie Coleman? Are you going against uh, Sean Ray? Are you going against Kevin LeBron mm. or Flex Wheeler? Um, and I think just lead, going into the show, it was like not a surprise. You knew who was going to be there and you knew what they were going to be bringing. Uh, it's not like you were seeing, you know, the, the Instagram shots leading up to the show. It yeah. wasn't that type of thing, but you knew who you had to deal with and you knew them personally. So you know, the type of person you're dealing with when you go into a show, how hard they're going to go for the, the title. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what you should do, this is I'm asking you as an advice for the new uh, people who's like getting involved in bodybuilding and they just receive the bro card like today. We see some people get or some mm -hmm. competitors, they mm -hmm. get th their bro card. Mm -hmm. So what what you do, they should do when like get stressed? Oh, just try to not worry about it. Just let it roll it's off your shoulders. It's not that easy. It's not yeah, that easy. Yeah, yeah. Was that's the way. I mean, like let's for, say for instance, we're in a, we're in a, a situation where you can't control it. Yeah. Most situations you can control it. Mm -hmm. So what do you do about it? Worry yeah. about it? Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, you got. You know, we were one time we were in Europe and we had to go to another show. We were on the European tour. Uh, we was delayed nine hours. So everyone's waiting for us at the venue in Russia, but yeah. we are over in another country waiting waiting uh, for a plane uh, by the time we got there people were stressed out and uh, <laughs> people were stressed out and and I was just like chilling yeah most people were just like bored, worried about the time worried about their bodies and I was just like I just learned to let things just roll off my shoulders and just don't worry about it yeah yeah and I think that helped me a lot in uh, in my career because I was always just chilling you know, just like just letting it go i understand that but uh you know there is the other guys that the they put so much work in a year to get for that level so they are like afraid about their hard work that it will vanish but I'm just, i was averaging 10 shows a year yeah yeah that's a lot of hard work yeah, too yeah okay but you mm. still if you can't control something why put your why put your mind on it so much gonna release cortisol in your, your system you're gonna yeah. hold water from it yeah. yeah just don't worry about things you can't control whatever you can control okay but if you can't control it don't worry about it yeah yeah well that's 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 <laughs> good advice yeah, yeah that's good advice don't so don't don't, don't worry <laughs> so the other the other thing that I was gonna ask you about the 212 what's your expectation this year for the 212 well you got it well you know Sean's gonna be either one or two yeah no matter what and uh, uh, Kamal and Derek, Kamal, mm. all those guys, you know, and I think and Derek's gonna look different this year. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting big things from him also. But uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, in um, uh, the prodigy, he's yeah. coming in, uh, and I haven't seen much of his physique or his body leading up to the show. He looks very full, but you know, we're gonna see how how they look when they, you know, drop the final water and come in. But, yeah. uh, and that's, that's always the, the biggest question is how they're going to peak for the show. And are you able to peak, are you able to peak right at that time? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's, the, that's body. The question that it's killing the most of all uh, bodybuilding's fan, which is Hadi Schuppen. He have been here for six weeks now, and he's getting ready with uh, Rambo. So, uh -huh. what's your expectation for Hadi Schuppen? 
You think he can do it? Yeah, I think he could do it. I mean, I like I saw him really super sharp at the 212 division. I haven't seen him hit that mark since then. So if he can if he can bring that, I know he's a, a fierce competitor. I know he's he's a uh, um, he definitely can be fighting for one of those, the top spot. Um, he can be top three. I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, of course he could be top three. Mm. He could be top three. You know, mm. Phil's not here this year, and um, you, you think know, it's the right choice for Phil to to be out? No, I would be doing it because yeah. you don't you, you don't you only have a certain amount of time yes. with that body. So yes, yes. I would be I would be taking full advantage of my uh, later years. Um, but you know, if he if he's choosing not to, that that's him. Maybe he has other ventures he's looking forward to doing. But yeah, I, I mean, that's one one mistake I made was not doing some of the shows that I should have done. And I look back, oh, I should have done. It. I had no reason yeah. why I didn't well, have to do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, now we are like getting a little bit from you. Tomorrow we are gonna have some. After tomorrow we're gonna have some until yes. the final show. Love you, brother. Love Always you, brother. good to see you. All right, good to see Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. See Chris you guys. Kumbaya. See you guys. Thank you.